How did you enjoy the show tonight? Fantastic. Fantastic. They're just the best audience ever. They always are. You, you, you changed the, uh, the the songs. You did uh, Long Train Running and uh, Nana Hey Hey. Well, we've done G.A.Y. so many times that we kind of do the same set. They never seem to tire of it, but um, we thought we'd slip in a few different ones. I thought Nana went down the tree because the, the crowd can obviously sing along with that one. Nana, 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 show in Germany with about 15 20,000 people and halfway through the set someone came and leaned on the dirt machine and the tape just went and we just got the crowd going so we thought it would be a bit of a crowd pleaser and I think it was was it really by uh, Ian uh, Masterson also? yeah of course yeah. Ian does all our show because it's a bit of a stomper because it's way back in the day so they just put a different beat on it
you just recently signed a, a, a new record deal. We've just signed to an Italian company, and um, we're working next week with uh, Gareth Young, Young, who has he's done some stuff with um, Appleton and Sugar Babes, and I think he's done some stuff. With he's Kylie just done some stuff with Kylie, and he's just Ronan been Keating. doing some stuff with Ronan Keating. So we're doing. He's a good Cornish boy. I met him years ago. Is it a new musical direction? Um, we, well, we are, we're, we're in the day after tomorrow, so we'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll It'll be, be dance, but still with that pop kind of thing. And he does some quite rocky stuff as well. I mean, what I like about the Sugar Babes is it's kind of a bit raunchier and a bit heavier, but still poppy dancey stuff. So The new album, which is coming, how would you see it? What do you want to do? I want guitars on it. I want it to be a bit rocky. But still very dance. I still like the whole trance thing and the whole. But I want it, you know. You know just I'd be like very it to stand there. out. I'd like to hear it. Like occasionally, very occasionally, you hear a track on the radio and you think, "Oh God, that sounds fabulous!" Because it's different. A real sort of classic pop song, but just with a different kind of twist. Which is how I felt when I first heard, heard the Sugar Bass thing, which was mixed with, you know. The Gary Newman thing or whatever. I I just like something that just stands out, and I I just like our first single to to be irresistible. And Kevin, you've got like favourite songs at the moment, haven't you? What are your favourite songs at the moment? Well, we quite like Rachel Stevens' song. Uh, well, that's a, that's a classic pop song, sounds... and it sounds very. It just sounds different when you hear it on the radio. It's not your run of the mill sort of dancing track. And I also love. That Brazilian, song. that Brazilian sort of feel that. Keith, that, what's that? What Brazilian was our Ibiza anthem from the year before last? Tim Deluxe. Tim Deluxe. That kind of way you get the Brazilian drums and a bit of. There's that. Um, what's it called? Shake it, shake it, something other. What's the, the girl who can't dance? Yeah. Nick Cabrera. Cabrera, I just love the fact that it's a poppy song, but you've got those really we have a song hefty that we are with German, German. And we production. have a song which we might sort of put those sorts of drums on. But you, 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 know, you like uh, people, um, like rap, rap artists, like names mentioned before. Well, I just love the way, like Missy Elliott, I mean, she's such a genius, and then like Buster Rhymes and all those sort of. You know, they just they, they bring in different people to work with, and it's just always so kind of. I think it's good to work with other people. We've never ever done that really, so that would be quite interesting if, if we sort of start with someone from that field because these all Americans they all know us, yeah, and it would almost be kind of like novel to kind of do something with us, I think. So we'll wait till we get to that point and then see who, who might be interested. Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you, you going to bring in the songs you've been working on for the last couple months? I think we'll probably start yeah, possibly, but we're going to start with four tracks. So we're working with um, Gareth, and then I think uh, possibly Rob Davis who did um, Spiller. You're going to be uh, correct. Well, hopefully yes. that's kind of been. Well, it's to, to be honest, like, we'll be writing on sort of, you know in a couple of days with Gareth but if someone presented us with a drop dead fantastic song we we do it that we don't have to write. It's just when people play songs you just sort of think, well I could write I could write that. It's nothing special. So I think sometimes the personal touch, what we want to do works. I mean it always has done in the past. Do, do you have any uh, uh, release plan? Any... Well, we're talking about um, February for a single, but we'll see what happens next week. I mean, those, those sort of things always go back, but um, yeah, it's very positive. What's the next to get? Well, I think once we've got like tracks together, it would be good to get a whole new show. Obviously, you have to keep sort of the elements of the old stuff, but um, it would be good because as much as I like doing sort of the 80s kind of thing, though, I would never go on those 80s tours. You know, obviously fans want to hear those songs, but it would be more exciting and inspirational for us if we could do new stuff. So, well, obviously, that's going to happen. So, uh, would you consider uh, giving out to the fans through the website, for example, a song that's not going to be released, like one of the songs you did with EM? Yes, of course. We've just been talking with them. Um, um, Jeremy, I've just been talking with Jeremy about the fact that when we've got a few songs together, how fabulous it would be to sort of put them on the website or allow 
you know, to put them up first so people can tell you what they think and sort of pick the single or... Well, that's apparently you know, what people do now, yeah. don't they? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I have no idea that's what happened. Yeah. Can I ask so one last question? Yeah. No, so yeah, it'll, it'll be on your website first. What would you do if you were in my shoes, washing all my laundry and riding on the back of the bus? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. 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 Yeah, that's a good Who's Mrs. B? She does my laundry. <laughs> Sarah, have you got a Mrs. B or do you do your own laundry and ride it on yeah, the bus? I've got someone called Keith Cox who does my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good with an iron, isn't he? Yeah, he's in the top. <laughs> <laughs>